This is Bill North of Florida Weekend Warriors, and today we're going to install an observation camera. The one I picked is the Furion one, for basically two reasons. It's supposed to be plug and play on the back of my camper. Number one and number two, it was on sale at Camping World. So here we go. <laughs> Let's see what's in the box. Comes with the camera. It's a nice seven inch screen. Instructions. Power adapter to use it on the dash. Small antenna. A bracket to put it on the dash, just to set it on there. The camera that goes in the back looks identical to the one I already have. Just has this little spot for the antenna. And the other thing in the box is a suction cup dash mount, or you can put it on the windshield. Let's figure out how to install it. Here's everything laid out. Uh, one thing I forgot before is it also comes with some little screws here. Um, they're extremely small, so I'm not sure where these get used, but we'll find out when we install it. So the first thing we're gonna do is basically just screw on the antenna. Just basically screws on just like this. It looks like we're ready to go. It even has a little thing you can dip it up in the air. The installation looks like it's super simple. Peel back this rubber grommet. It looks like the whole thing is just plug and play. Let's check it out. The installation looks super simple. All you really do is undo a couple of screws. These four little screws at the bottom. I guess there's, they give you extra ones in the kit. That's what those little screws in that little bag were for. Once you take the four screws off, you get to this panel. You just gotta Try it out a little bit. A little bit of sawdust from when they manufactured it. It's all ready to go. All you do is plug and play. It's not quite as simple as I first thought. You do have to remove the old one, and there's a bunch of um, caulking and stuff on here, so here it goes. There's a ceiling on it, I can't seem to, it's like caulking or something, some kind of glue. Oh, man. I think it's a screwdriver or something to get the um, old seal off. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, it's kind of sticky. Alright. Now I'm just going to put on the new one. I put a small slit in mine right where the hole is. That way, you can feed the wires through it. There we go, just like that. Sure 
room we got. We got quite a bit of room to stuff all these wires through, so I'll pull it all the way through. Gotta be careful not to pull the wires loose. I also changed my screws out to stainless. Since I got it off, I might as well upgrade to stainless. That way it won't rust. Let's plug it in. It snaps. Just gotta wrap these wires up in here. Together. So it's all lined up. There you go. Only thing left to do is put the screws in. have also prevented a future water leak. There we go. I'm not sure how this adjusts. All that's left to do is check it out. And here it is, we got it hooked up. Now mine was wired to the running lights. So to turn mine on, I have to have the running lights on um, or else the uh, camera gets no power, which isn't a problem. I actually wanted it hooked up that way anyways, but that's how the factory did it. Now I'm gonna go out and move that board. See that board in the left corner? And see what kind of a uh, viewing I have. So hold on. So you can see, I moved the board to the absolute corner of the RV. You can just barely see it, but right there is that board. So um, we got full 360 degrees and you can see um, people walking around the backyard. And you can see the ladder all the way on the right side. So you can definitely see if you're gonna hit anything. Um, so I think I got the angle pretty good. So the ins installation was simple. I highly recommend it. Um, what's neat about this system is you can add side marker lights so you can put cameras all around your our camper and really get a really cool view of everything um, on, the, on the sides and the back. So that's We it. hope you liked this video and found it helpful. So far I really like the camera. The only really drawback I have is the instructions are extremely small and hard to read and the antenna. The antenna on the back camera doesn't fold flat so I keep a cover on my camper so I'm afraid it's gonna get busted off taking the cover on and off but it it unscrews easily so when I take the cover off I'll just screw the antenna back on so it's really not a big deal so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel um, give us a thumbs up or a comment um, it'll really help us out and help other people on YouTube find us so see ya